I'm ready. Okay, welcome to our Maple Haven sidewalk meeting. This is the second meeting in a series of three. Uh, we're going to be working in three different neighborhoods for some of those sidewalks. Uh, we've already done a presentation over at Pinoy Manor, uh, over by the hospital, and now we're here with you tonight. Um, the department has a certain amount of funding. We think we can get a, a good part of the sidewalks done. So, Harold Welch is here. He's going to give the presentation and uh, to be easy on him. It's only the second one, so take it easy on him. And, and then after we get done the presentation, we'll take the questions. Okay. Can those of you on Zoom see and hear me okay? Anyone? Okay, good luck. That's barely. Yeah, okay. We will try to speak into the mic. So thank you all, residents of Maple Haven, for coming out this evening to uh, give your input on our proposed project. A uh, special thank you to Councilor Bagley and Roman Lombardi. We appreciate seeing you out here. Uh, yeah, we appreciate you all coming out tonight to give your input. So, a little bit of Maple Haven history. Uh, Maple Haven was built between the late 40s and late 50s. Winchester Street was the street that was built first in Maple Haven. Hence the current map of sidewalks. So this is just an overview map of the north side of Maple Haven. Um, as you can see, we've got Suzanne Drive going around the loop. We've got Lafayette Road down there on the corner right, and Ocean Road on the bottom left. This map highlights in yellow all of the current existing sidewalks along the north side of Maple Haven. As you can see, each and every street has a sidewalk on both sides of the street. This is the south side of Maple Haven, the Plainville. As you can see, the yellow indicates the current sidewalk. The south side of Maple Haven is a little bit different. We have Nathaniel Drive, which is newer and has concrete sidewalks on one side of the street. And we obviously have Winchester Street, which, as we mentioned earlier, does not have any sidewalks at all. So this is just a general roadway cross section for a typical street in the grand majority of Maple Haven. Um, we have asphalt sidewalks that are approximately two and a half feet wide, approximately eight feet of grass strip, and then approximately 24 feet of roadway. This is approximate for most of Maple Haven, excluding Nathaniel Drive, which as we discussed earlier, only has sidewalks on one side, and Winchester Street, which obviously has no sidewalks. So, the current sidewalk condition, as I'm sure you all know, two to three feet wide on average, two and a half typically. Uh, they are made of asphalt, they've been heavily heaved by tree roots throughout the years. They are moss and soil covered in many locations, and some areas do have poor sidewalk drainage. Just some more sample photos of the current sidewalk condition throughout your neighborhood. So, in December and January of this earlier this year, we put out a survey to 200 residents. Is that something we put out? We got about 50 back, uh, about 25% response rate. Uh, the majority obviously confirmed that the sidewalks in the neighborhood are in poor condition and that the poor condition of the sidewalks impacts the usage of them. Importantly, 80% of respondents favored improved sidewalks in their neighborhood. It's four years up front, so they want to come up to the front of us. So, what are the upgrades that we are proposing? We are proposing five and a half foot wide concrete sidewalks. These meet the current city sidewalk standards as well as the American Disabilities or ADA compliance. So, when we were considering our proposed layout for the new sidewalk, there were many um, objectives that we tried to cover. First, we tried to impact the fewest amount of trees. We do not like to take down trees in any neighborhood. They're a valuable asset to the neighborhood. So we tried to impact the fewest amount of trees as possible. We also tried to maximize the number of houses that would get a placed concrete sidewalk in front of them. We tried to increase walkability throughout the entire neighborhood, including north and south Maple Haven, with a connection, which we will get to in a few 
unit, and we have to work within our available funding. And as such, this would be a phased project. So our proposed phase one for the north side of Maple Basin includes approximately 2,600 linear feet of new concrete sidewalk shown in yellow, as you can see. This is the southern side of Suzanne. Um, we will be removing the, or our proposed plan calls for us to remove the existing asphalt sidewalk on the opposite side of the street. Um, this proposed plan will help to increase walkability to the park in phase one. Our proposed location for phase one on the south side of Maple Haven includes 900 feet of brand new linear, uh, 500, 900 linear feet of brand new concrete sidewalk on Winchester, which, as we mentioned earlier, does not currently have the sidewalk. Um, Sano Drive is shown down here in green. Um, we just want to highlight that that road only has modern concrete sidewalks that are of the city standards and ADA compliant. So the crossing of Ocean Road, Maple Haven is bisected by Ocean Road, a busy mm -hmm. New Hampshire DOT maintained thoroughfare. Uh, as part of this plan, we will be requesting New Hampshire DOT permission for both a crosswalk and a pedestrian actuated flashing beacon so that you can get from one side of Maple Haven to the other. Um, down here is a picture of a flashing beacon. There's one on the Sandfield crossing Ocean Road. These are scattered all throughout the city. And they really help to get across the road, which has the traffic volume as high as Ocean Road. So, sidewalk placement. Um, this edge right here, this is called the back line of the sidewalk. And in most cases, as you understand, this abuts your property line. Um, obviously, we cannot expand onto your property. And as such, we'll be making use of the green strip in between the sidewalk and the road. Uh, as you can see on the right side, in many cases that won't be an issue as it is simply a grass strip. However, on the left side, you can see that we will run into some issues in some areas, which brings us on to tree impacts. Um, as you can see, there will be some tree impacts associated with this project. The image on the left shows a tree that will likely necessitate removal. Likely it would necessitate removal. As you can see, the expanded five and a half foot sidewalk would go through the center of that tree. However, the image on the right shows a tree that we would likely be able to save by mildly derooting the sidewalk across it, making a small indentation in the sidewalk. Um, we have done this before. As you can see on Lincoln Ave, this is a method to avoid tree removal, which, as I mentioned earlier, is something that we do not like to do if we can at all avoid it. Um, City has done this in numerous locations with success over the past. We hope to be able to apply it in as many locations here as possible. So this is just our proposed design plan for the north side of Maple Haven. The yellow lines are in crosswalks which will be installed, and the trees that will be impacted are shown with these orange X's. It's important to note that just because a tree is impacted does not mean that it will be removed. This includes trees that may be able to be diverted around, as well as some which will have to be removed. Um, we have not progressed far enough in our design to be able to tell which trees we will be able to go around and which trees we will have to remove. This is our proposed design plan for Winchester Street. You can see, this is the Ocean Road crossing. And this is our proposed design plan for the south side of Maple. Include Winchester Street there. You can see the phase two will include the interior streets of the south side of Maple Haven, Denise, Pamela, and Marriott. So, what are our next steps? We are currently in the public input state. That is why you're all here. Um, based on input from this meeting, we will be completing preliminary design in the coming weeks. We will be going for the April uh, 9th Tree and Greenery Committee with this proposal as it will impact trees. We've done finalizing design and advertising for bids this spring. We have anticipated phase one construction in the summer and fall of 2022. At this time, I would like to hand over to my colleagues to say anything that I may have forgotten. Then we will open up to public input. Thank you. Hi, 
So I'm David Moses, City of Portsmouth Public Works Department. Um, this is Mark Batchelder, he's your design engineer, by the way. Can you get introduced? And uh, Terry Damaris is here too, he's the city engineer. So you have, uh, have pretty much everybody who's going to be involved in this project in the room. If you want, if you guys want to ask questions, we'll go through and we'll talk to the people on Zoom as well. But uh, in general, we want to try to get as much territory covered as we can with the funding that we have. Um, we found that uh, that picking the having the outside of the street in the neighborhood streets uh, picks up as many houses as possible. It gives us access, direct access to the park. Um, one of the goals, as you saw, was to kind of create uh, a link between the two Maple Havens. We know um, for, I know for a fact that uh, a lot of people in this neighborhood, and I know that a lot of people walk from one neighborhood to the other and do loops around. So one of our goals was really to try to make that connection across Ocean Road as safe as we can. So we're trying to do that by, um, we'll be applying to the state for that. RRFB flashing beacon and trying to put a crosswalk across between the two streets and then adding that, that sidewalk section on Winchester Street where we don't have one right now. So, um, like I said, we, we have funding, we have we have we think we have enough to, to cover what we're showing. The areas that are in, in phase two areas would be the next round of funding that we get. We get funding every two years. Uh, so that being said, um, we'll open it up to questions and and we're here for it. You did show phase two of Maple Haven near the park. I didn't, I quickly saw that. I saw phase one, which would be outside um, near Ocean Road. I didn't see phase two. That's the south side, right? You want to see the other side? I just want to see phase two of the other side. Yep. So there you go. Right. So the area that's blue, that's like a blue line is the area that we would construct this summer and fall, assuming that we can find a contractor. So no, I'm waiting for uh, one, so that's not right. So I, are you not doing sidewalks on the other side? We are. I don't see that. Okay, that was the other slide that I had. Yeah. So on this slide, we're concentrating on Winchester Street. That's gonna take a bit of work. No. no, so on the other side, on so the other side. side. On the other side of the street. They're asking North side. North side, okay, that's the slide I hit on. The first phase, I think the park's at the top left. Yep, the park's right here. Right, but there's no blue. I thought blue. The parking area is right there, so if we if we put the sidewalk across, we wouldn't have a parking area. The yellow lines in that run are the phase two. Okay. Yes, the light yellow lines. Anything that's shaded in blue is a different phase. The blue, the dark blue line is what we'll be constructing in this first. So I do have a question. So in the other, the other um, neighborhood development that you just did that presentation. Yeah. Is it is it yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so I don't understand the phase two why it's not in the center like their their plans, whereas ours are not in the center. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I walk wire. Why is it not on the other side of the road? Why is it not on the other side of the road? Yeah. No, not this Should be on the opposite side of the street of where we're showing it. Which is what's the presentation that similar to the presentation you did before. Like, I don't know why it's here. So, it we, all around we, we looked at some of the streets, and this is all preliminary, but we were trying to eliminate tree damage. Well, okay, but there's not many trees on the side. 
Okay, so that might be a design detail that we catch when we go to design phase two. We'll get it marked down. Yep. Just confirm that we have Any chance you can, um, why isn't this all posted online where we can look at it and then make sure it's posted? This is before this meeting, and we could have got a got them straightened out on this a little bit ahead of time. And, and can we see these? We can serve. We can serve the. We can serve the post more. Yeah, we can. Yeah, with the post more with all the plans and 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 where the funding's coming from. Yeah. And why there's not enough funding, you know, because uh, you said there's two phases of funding. Because you got a piece meal, you know, so you're coming in the neighborhood and you're just chopping it all up. But um, how come there's not enough funding? You know, they did the sidewalk downtown. They have enough funding. I mean, what? Why is it? How many phases are you talking about? Well, I think we were thinking two phases. Two, we were thinking about two phases, phases right? So we've got two phases, but that doesn't complete the job, does it? Well, we think it probably would. It would, okay. So between the two phases you're showing us tonight, that would complete all the sidewalks. Yes. That would be the goal. That would be the goal, yeah. <clears throat> so we, we have a pot of money. The answer to your question is we have a pot of money. We have several neighborhoods that want some sidewalks. We're trying to spread. We're trying to spread it out the so that everybody gets something. Where's the part of money come from? It's capital sidewalk money. Okay. So our taxes. It's not any state. It's money. bonded money. What's it's that? not federal money. It's not state it's money. money. It's bonded right. city money. Okay. Will that increase taxes on the property? It's it's it, difficult to. The funding is coming from the capital improvement plan. Which is under the general fund, which is your taxation base. But it's already in the capital improvements plan for the next six years, every other year. So the funds that Dave's referring to and why we have multiple phases here is because we have, uh, I think it was uh, fiscal 22 is the last time we got funds for this. We won't get another set of funds for fiscal 24, and that's what we planned every two years for funding on the on the sidewalk improvements project. So we're just trying to utilize that funding so we don't add to the cost or add to it. And that's why we have to pay for it. Well, all the work that these people are going to be paying is 22. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, already, it's, it's already in the cost. Right. Do they have to be four feet wide? Five and a half feet wide is our city standard. What are they now? Two and a half. They're two and a half, yeah. which is why nobody uses them. <laughs> no, actually, the, the code mark the I know the minimum was three feet for a certain distance. What's the absolute minimum for ADA code? Uh, based on pro ag, which is the municipal uh, uh, uh sidewalks, it's four feet, 48 inches minimum. Uh, you can narrow it for short periods of uh, like going around something, so four feet for minimum. And then the sidewalk tractors are five feet. So we endeavor to build to build snow plow? Yes. Oh. We endeavor to build sidewalks that that the guys won't fall off of and do all kinds of home damage. Okay. So we try to build the sidewalks wide enough that two people can walk abreast and that the sidewalk tractor can plow without making a mess. Okay. That's why we there. that's why we centralize around that five and a half feet. We endeavor to plow. So when we have a snowstorm, we have a certain methodology of which, which way we plow. So we always plow around the schools first, and then there's a dedicated tractor for downtown, of course. And then we do the main routes, and then we start going in the neighborhoods. And that's the way we do things. Have you ever plowed the... Uh... Nathaniel? Yeah. Right, because there's no way for the tractors to get up there. Right? There's no way for you out there. Anybody out there now? We're in <laughs> You, um, you could actually look at the capital improvement plan 
there's actually a capital improvement project to bring multi-use paths all the way out here from along Route 1. We were working with DOT to build these paths so that we can increase mobility going up and down the road safely. So we're eventually we're building a network, and yes, we're building it in pieces, but we'll try to build a network. We've been at it for over 60 years. I've lived in Maple Haven for 64, and I, it's the first time I've seen anything done out there. Hi. Um, I had a question. Uh, I had two questions actually. Um, one on Winchester. Will the will you be taking and the footage from the street itself? Or are you going to be using the yards? So is it going to be narrowing the street at all on Winchester? And then are the residents going to be responsible for shoveling off their sidewalks so that in the winter time we can still walk on the sidewalks? Those are my two questions. Okay, so the first question is, we are taking some of the width of Winchester Street away, uh, very little of it, and we're expanding some of it in the opposite direction to make up the balance of the, of the width. Okay. Um, as far as sidewalks, you are not, we do not, we don't make the residents shovel the sidewalks, no. So we, we plow the sidewalks off, you have no responsibility to maintain in the city of Westbrook. Other municipalities do that, but we don't. Thank you. So we, of the phases, when you're, you're only gonna do one side of the road, so the removal of the other side. Yes. Yes. All in phase one. No, we'll 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 work on one street at a time and work our way across. Bring Winchester Street back up, please. Yep. Yeah. Have anything come around with the Winchester Street? We weren't planning on it. It's too short a section and too narrow back there. Turn the back. Go ahead. I, that, that one right there, there's some right there. So um, there has been a long-standing CIP plan to take over Ocean Road from the state. That's been around as long as I've worked for Public Works. It's been in the capital plan for 20 years. So that, um, I think we'd have to add that as a CIP project to extend on Ocean Road, and we'd have to get permission that's on state right away. So just like, and we did that when we built, I, I actually built that section in 2001, back when we did it, because we thought we were going to signalize that intersection. And, um, but we'd have to basically go through a process where we ask the state for permission to build sidewalks out there. And I think that's a probably a worthy, a worthy request. And um, we should probably, it would help us to get these projects out there. We have a, there's a CIP form. It's on the planning department website, inside the city website. And it's a resident request form. And if you fill that out, it goes into this box. And then at the end of the year, which is in the middle of the year, for CIP, at the end of the year, uh, we go through all those resident requests and we put them in and we sort them. And we try to, uh, so we try to uh, come up with a master list for the CIP. And that's how, the, that's how projects get added to our list. Um, I'm probably going to shoot you down here, but um, we originally you had sent out something that you would respond to online, right? Like yep. Right, a survey. I haven't heard one thing. Um, everyone's going to probably shoot you down, but I was one that said um, I didn't want the sidewalk at this point. Just rip off everything, rip the trees out, and plant grass. And but I haven't heard one thing from the survey. If anyone else has the same um, opinion. Or so it was 20% tear them out, 80% put them in. How many people? 50 people responded. 50? 50. Yeah, that's not really a valid. Right. That's not even a valid sample. Right. But we, we can't, I know, you can't, we can't force people to give us input. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We send it out. We try to make it as easy as you can. You can just click it on your phone. 
And if people don't respond, we all we can do is act on the data that we have. I understand. So if we need to move utility poles, we'll work with whatever source to move the poles around. That's standard fare for what we do. Going back to maintenance, do we have a defined maintenance plan in place? You know, kind of like that. Because it's easy to say that, oh, these are going to get plowed, but then there's no actual ownership over it, and then the sidewalks end up because that's like current stuff. And then it's kind of a waste of time. And then what happens? There's no ownership. Yes, we have a defined maintenance plan for sidewalks. That's part of this. Todd, can you hear yes, me? hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear you? Great. Uh, yes, hi. I'm Todd Hunter from uh, on Suzanne Drive. I really just was asking if um, after the meeting, if this presentation can be emailed uh, in a PDF format to all the attendees so that they can be inspected closer after the meeting. We will post it to the website. Post it to the website. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Cityofportsmouth.com, the only website we have. Well, uh, we can we can distribute the link. We'll, we'll distribute the link to. We will distribute the link to uh, everybody who attends. So just make sure that you sign in and provide an email address. Thank you. Yes, sir. When you say out the question there, you said it uh, was descriptive of what, what, what you're going to do and what you're going to do it at. Well, yeah, Tyler, Tyler actually did the question. Yeah, because the question is the sidewalks. What was the question? Could you explain to him where he, what, where he put sidewalks and how much he had to do the face to do the sidewalks? No, that was not determined at the time. We wanted to get input based on if we wanted to do sidewalks or not. So you got people that don't want the sidewalks are sitting right here. Mm -hmm. We didn't, didn't receive any. Uh, we didn't, we didn't, I didn't receive any mail over there. How did you put the mail in? They were communicators. Did you do it? Did you want to go to So I'm sorry if you somehow got, so somehow got lost. We can, uh, we can get a survey if you'd like one and make sure it gets to your property. Please. So you're gonna run you're gonna do Winchester Street and you're gonna stop at the corner. Yeah, we'll we'll do the straight part of Winchester Street that goes into the middle. We'll stop right there. We continue on connected to the existing Yeah, you can't see it because there's a window, but it goes to the sidewalk that within the drive goes the sidewalk one house over from Winchester Street now. So you're doing a convenience drive. We're doing an interloop so that there's a constant sidewalk all the way around the neighborhood. But there won't be. You said you're going to stop the neighborhood. Winchester Street. It's here. The, the, the proposed comes down, ties into the existing concrete sidewalk that then goes around until it gets completely. So we're proposing to come all the way down to tie in the phase off. On phase one. Yep. Phase two is the, the main Phase two will be the interior. Yep. It does go on to the interior of Winchester. Thank you. The designs, the designs aren't locked. They're, you know, I mean, we're in preliminary design at this point. Yep. You know, one of the reasons we, we do this is because um, well, we don't live in your neighborhood. Yep. So we, we do it to, to gather input. So before we spend a bunch of time doing design, that it's not going to work for whatever reason. You know, we come and see you and, you know, just kind of say if there's something that we need to be aware of, that's, you know, this is the time that we gathered that kind of information. So, no, the design's not locked totally. And especially anywhere that's shaded in blue, it's really just kind of a line on a paper at this point. We, uh, 
the areas that are designated to get constructed this year are pretty well thought out. Phase one for the same neighborhood crossing center. Phase two. This is the right one I'm describing. This, this, this side of Maple Haven or the other side? The same side. Same yep. South side. Yep. So the dark, the dark blue line is what's getting done. That's getting done in phase two. Right. Okay. So then can I see what? Phase one. Phase one. Yep. yep. Same neighborhood. Yes, because it doesn't have a sidewalk at all. So you can't even get to the other side of Maple Haven without that sidewalk. Yes, sir. You said you have to go through the space to get that crosswalk. Yeah. So what are our chances of getting that crosswalk? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. It has to meet site distance criteria. Uh, which we haven't analyzed, but I think we need. Um, and as you saw down the road, we put one in the damp road. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that had a that had a significant crest hill, so there was a site distance issue. And but we had to, you know, we had to put in street lights so that the pedestrians were lit at night. They made us, you know, put up proper signage and stuff. But it ultimately, they agreed to it. We just work on Winchester Street is going to, we're going to have to shift the road over just a little bit to make the sidewalk work. So there's road work and sidewalk work. We might have to move a couple of drains around. So it's a lot easier than just that. It's a lot harder than what that blue line just says, really? sidewalk. It's okay. just, it's just a little more difficult. Our emphasis was on the other side of Maple Haven because of the playground. Okay. Would you clarify the Winchester Street where you're adding land to, to do the sidewalk and moving the road? And so the sidewalk's on the left side as you're looking at it, yeah. okay? So in the area where the road has a, a bit of a chicane, yeah. the road will have to go over two or three feet over to where there, where it isn't what's grass right now in order to maintain that width. So you're going to take people's yards. We're going to be working in the right of way and removing a little bit of grass. Yes. Will you be uh, removing the trees and bushes that are on either side of the property for them to do the project? We're not going to be working on anybody's property. We're going to be working in the right of way. Right. But I have I have something that's hanging over that zone. Will you, will we will work with you. We will work with you to trim it appropriately. So that we can maintain sidewalk. On that, just real quick, what is the measurement from center of road to easement? Just because I don't know what it is in Portsmouth, and it actually it's, very it's actually now. different it's no matter where you are. So Maple Haven's a subdivision. So in Maple Haven, the city actually has fee ownership of the road. So that means the city, all of us, own the road entirely. On Old roads like Islington Street, the property owners actually own to the middle of the road, and then superseding every right that you have as a property owner, the city has right away over that. Right. So in this particular case, Maple Haven's a subdivision, and I believe the answer to your question is the right of way is a 50 feet wide. But don't necessarily assume. You know what happens when you assume, <laughs> right? So don't assume that the center line of the road is the center line of the right. Usually it's true, but in certain areas, like if you really look at that close up line matchup of Winchester Street, you'll see Winchester Street really kind of jammed up on one side, and there's like 50 feet right away on the other side of the road. So, not always in the middle, but generally speaking, 50 feet wide. I hope that maybe this answer was helpful. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> That's okay, though. I, I appreciate it. 
Yes, sir. On, on the north side, you're going to be staying on the side. Yes, we're going to go on the outside ring, so it'll be on the on the Ocean Road side of the street. Okay. To the playground. Right. I mean, and the goal again was to get one side of Maple Haven connected to the other, so that everybody could get to the playground. We'll build a sidewalk on one side, we'll move the sidewalk on the other as we go up through the neighborhood. When are you going to start out? Well, we're hoping to send it out to bed this summer, actually late spring. We don't think it's probably going to be too much longer, probably four weeks before the plan's done. Um, and we're hoping to get a good contractor and start later this summer. So you will finalize on all of this? We'll have final plans probably within four, four to five weeks. Yes. Generally speaking, we don't have another meeting until we have a pre-construction meeting. So at that point, we've hired a contractor and we're coming. We're going to have a follow-up meeting? Okay, we'll have a follow-up meeting. In the back. Uh, the areas where the sidewalk will be removed and not replaced. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious what that's going to look like if that area is going to be kind of filled in. or Yes, it's going to be we'll fill it in with loan. And make it flat and level. Yes, um, I'm going to point something out that not everybody's probably aware of that lives in the whole entire neighborhood. Uh, Suzanne Drive from Route 1 to Ocean Road is a direct cut through to cut out the light. And just in general, it's a cut through that quite, quite often people go very fast through. Mm -hmm. um, that, was, that was the other reason why we picked that to put the sidewalk on so that we didn't have people walking in the road there. Correct. So you have three crossings across the busiest part of the road. And if you would Put it on the other side, and I'll be even honest it's on my side, but I don't care one way or the other. But if you put it on the other side, left side, if you're looking at it, and it crosses Simmons and then goes around Suzanne on the southern side of that, it may be safer. I'm not saying that's my opinion, but having three crossings on one of the busy I understand parts exactly what you're saying, just it, and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, I just that's all I'm saying. No, I, I have young kids, and I know there's quite a few houses around to do. And I understand you know, exactly what you're saying. <laughs> Just regarding what, what you were saying, too, what I know about the neighborhood is that when they put signage up on that ocean road, they put signage up on the ocean road side to say that cars are restricted going through that side so it wouldn't become a cut through. But they don't have a sign on the side that actually needs it, which yeah. is that route one side uh, to restrict cars from coming through. They should have reversed that. Um, in order to, to, to like, carry it through way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's one on the no. one side. Yeah. That's so. a major issue. I mean, there's, there's cars that go up to 50 miles an hour just flying on the other side of the road. Too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm, road. I'm aware that there's an issue there. I, mean, um, I know a lot of people in the neighborhood. One question I had that's kind of detracts from this neighborhood. On Banfield Road, was that a sidewalk project like ours? That was um, that was a separate funded sidewalk project. Okay, so that kind of so different, but the same. Well, I'm asking because of the uh, speed humps. For yeah. One. Um, and I was wondering how that tied into the sidewalk project there. And going back to what I said about that being a busy section of the road, I know I brought it up in my. Um, Questionnaire, whatever you want to call it, uh, about some sort of slowdown to the traffic, something being implemented there. You want more bumps? Yeah. Um, honestly, I have two young kids again, and people go through pretty quick, and I can't leave them for a minute out front, or even being out front with them, I have to move them over quickly because of that. Okay. Um, we can review I'm, that too. Yeah. I, and again, I'm just I was questioning the Banfield because they so implemented that was a there. that was a traffic calming and pedestrian improvement project. That coincided with the replacement of the culverts that used to over, over top on Banfield Road. Right. So we had two different projects on Banfield Road. They both got done pretty much bang bang together. Right. And and again, that was my question because I didn't know if it was kind of the same yeah. project and the capital improvement would be somewhere else that would be putting in a thought for that as well. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the speed of bumps or whatever. Whenever, whenever you have issues like that and you want 
a capital improvement project. Right. Fill out the form on the planning department website web page. Which I know it doesn't make any sense it's in planning, but that's really where it is. Right. And um, and you know that's how things get built. Yeah. People put in suggestions. We look at them. The planning board looks at them. It gets vetted to DPW and the planning board, and and the word ones become projects. Yes, sir. They're really the same thing, but yes, I understand. Can I throw something in for next connection of Route One Marion restaurant? This is way down the road, I'm sure, but there was supposed to be a Route One project and it went up front to Bosch. It's getting sidewalks on Route One. I was sitting in this room. Maybe no, no, that time. didn't get called to Bosch. I actually mentioned that about half an hour ago. So the Route One, so are we going to get so sidewalks? On anything one? that has to do with the same thing, it should take forever. Well, okay. I, saw, I was sitting in this room three years ago. Yep. And we had a big, big meeting. Yep. And I hadn't heard anything. And if you work for DOT, they say that was like, they were like, they just line on it. Yep, they're, they're on that. that. Yep. Yeah. That's how long state projects take. Yeah, they haven't like, they haven't like, done anything like, they don't work at all. No, anyway, and, and, they, and they won't probably for a couple more years. Okay, that's great. So my point was that in that project, the whole plan that, to my knowledge, they're coming up to where we are, mm -hmm. sidewalk, da da da, right? Multi use trails. Okay, thank you. Um, so I just didn't know by doing all that, it may, uh, maybe I'm just hallucinating, um, cross off, cross the entrance into Maple Lane where they do not do an entrance. Because I think. We'll remove the main entrance from Maple Haven? With the big Maple Haven sign and everything? Well, oh, you put a light there. I'm just saying, because I thought you could have, I thought the traffic is going to be rerouted to where Gittos is. Am I hallucinating again? No, actually, actually, if you go out tonight yeah. and you leave, all the trees get cut for that project today. Okay, so I thought. So if you go down Lane right. Road, you see a gigantic hole in the view. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to be traffic. We're going to be traffic to. We're, so what's going to happen with that project, just for anybody who's not clued in? Is all the traffic coming from coming up Lang Road from Rye now, and as you know, a lot of those people take a left, and then they immediately go up Walk and they take a right on Ocean Road. So what this truck project does is it reroutes that traffic, so they're going to come out and they're going to come out at Gino's now. Now you'll be able to continue on Lang Road and come out at the Gibbs Station, but you'll only be able to take a right and head downtown. So the, the left turning traffic that's trying to get out there. Won't be competing with that main entrance of Maple Haven anymore. So that's a good thing. That was, and again, that was a state project. It took forever. But they're out there cutting the trees. So we have a contractor, Severino's building it, and it's going to be built by mid June. You can also consider a skateboard ramp in the park. <laughs> because there are teenagers or young kids using their ramps from the streets to the sidewalk and until the wee hours in the, in the evenings and they're using profound language in littering areas. I have a personal experience in that. And in between Nathaniel Street, Little Drive, and uh, Winchester Street. Would eventually, so we need another street park.
25 to 20 seconds, right? And we're going to start targeting that um, into the group one for the kitchen sidewalks and painting and all of that stuff. But it is a struggle that it is state that and yeah. 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 You have four houses and it's starting to, and I live in Maple Haven. I think it's a pain. I, yeah. I, I live right there. I go in and out of that life. So I, get the, I get the struggle. But the state is dealt with the state law. So when is the real going to get <laughs> it's kind of no it's um for a long time we we're waiting for the state to acquire the land from the railroad as i understand it that's already that's happened at this point last fall we met with the design engineer we walked the whole rail trail the so the, the rail trail is under design i can't give you a construction year i don't have it I don't, I'm not quite sure. I wouldn't want to say the wrong thing, but it's coming relatively soon and faster than a state program. Mm -hmm. Wow, really fast. <laughs> yes, sir. You're going to have curbs on the Winchester Street. Mark said we are going to have curbs on the Winchester Street. On the sidewalk side. Right? Joe? Yes, correct. Okay. What about the other side? What about the other side, Mark? That uh, Winchester Street, that one side is the only side that uh, we thought uh, curbing was needed because most of the other uh, locations, there's a sidewalk is two set of five to eight feet uh, with the grass strip. So there's no, there's no sidewalk on the side of Winchester Street. On the east side. Correct. So curb on one side. Right now, there's no curb on the sidewalk side, not the other side. Correct. Is that true? That is true. Okay. Is that just that was the question? Is that yeah. just for Winchester side? That's just for Winchester Street. So none of the other sidewalks are going to have curbing. Correct. No, they're going to have the grass strips that like they exist now. Just make sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was sign language. Okay. You do me a favor, carry this back to the city. And we'd like to have a stop sign halfway down on Winchester Street. According to Hanwell, Hanwell Street, because people do it in excess of 40 miles an hour on that street. Everybody's talking about sidewalks, everybody's talking about the traffic that comes off always from there. So the only the place we could put it there. is at the intersection of uh, Winchester and Winchester. So. Winchester, you talking about? There's three. Yes, I know the, the one that goes into the neighborhood. So in order to have stop signs, you have to meet certain ones. But we can have our traffic engineer look at that and give a report back. We did it on the other end of the road. We put a stop sign on the other one. After coming out of Hawthorne, they put a stop sign at that corner. Who's Hawthorne? Nathaniel? Nathaniel. I'm sorry. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, that got done as part of the subdivision. Yeah. But we'll take a look at putting a, uh, a stop sign at the three way intersection and see if it meets wards. Can't do it unless it meets wards. Not allowed. But we can check and we'll report back. Is it good? As far as I can tell, nobody's really done anything about slowing the traffic down up there. Up there. We have ladies and the traffic cars three wide down the street. Care. Oh, we're here. We care. We're building sidewalks. Right. We carry that river to the state city for you. Okay. We care. We're here. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. We're here. 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 we are here 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 we are So 
we will have a follow-up meeting um, regarding this that we'll probably have in four weeks or so. We'll re-notify you. We'll put the message boards back up so that you know, in case you don't get the little notice on your door. Okay? And then, um, so we'll be doing that after a state street meeting but before we go out today. And we'll have answers on the speed hump, the stop sign, and road alignment. Road alignment. So we got everything written down, and we also anything that was in the chat, we have noted down to for anybody who's on Zoom. And it was on recorded. Yeah. Everything we held against it. Right. <laughs> Every time. No matter what. Okay. Did everybody sign in? And did everybody give us? Anybody who wants a copy of the presentation, did you give us your email address? <laughs> if you haven't, now is the time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. 